Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Sihem Kaka. We are still on Solve for X. Today we'll be looking at Smartenius equations, which still form part of your algebra. So, for the first sum that you are given, it's 4x plus a y is equals to a 2, and 4x plus y squared is equals to an 8. So, whenever you're dealing with Smartenius equation, you must look at both of your equations and see if there's a chance of you making either x or y subject of the formula without creating fractions. So, in this instance, the first equation, 4x plus y is equals to a 2. I can just take it down. 4x plus y is equals to a 2. Then, I make my y subject of the formula. y is equals to 2. I take the 4 to the other side. This one will have to change. Minus 4x. The equation you created, you make it to be your first equation. Then, you go on to look at the second equation that was given, which is 4x. 4x plus a y squared is equals to an 8. And then we'll just have to take the 8 to the other side. 4x plus y squared. Take your 8 to the other side. The sun will have to change. You equate this to 0. Then you make that to be your second equation. And then from here, we are done. You've made y subject of the formula. Then the next step is to substitute equation 1, the one you created, into equation 2. Then my equation 2, I find 4x plus y squared minus an 8 being equals to a 0. So, sub, substitute equation 1 into 2. Equation 1, it's y is equals to 2 minus 4x. So, on equation 2, where you see y, you'll have to substitute 2 minus 4x. So, 4x plus a 2 minus 4x squared minus an 8 is equals to a 0. So, both mass is to apply because there are brackets here. So, I take down my 4x plus 2 bracket minus 4x 2 minus 4x close bracket minus 8 is equals to a 0. From here, 4x, I'll have to do a FOIL method. 2 and 2, 2, negative 4, minus 4, and 2, minus 4x, minus 4x. Then from here, you're going to say 2 times 2, you get a 4. 2 times a negative 4x, you get a negative 8x. Then, you do the same with your negative 4. Negative 4 times a 2 you still get a negative 8x. Then you have to multiply a negative 4x times a negative 4x, which that will give you a plus 16x squared minus an 8, still equated to 0. Then you, you look for your like terms, which those are 4x minus 8x minus 8x of which these ones 4x plus a 4 minus 8x minus 8x you get a minus 16x plus 16x squared minus 8 equals to a 0 then minus 16 and a 4x I like terms as much as a negative 8 and a 4, they are like terms. So I go on to take my 16x squared, putting it in a standard form. Then I go on to say minus 6x plus 4, I'll get a negative 12x. 
then a plus 4 minus 8 you get a negative 4 still equated to 0 then from here you have an equation 16x squared minus 12x minus 4 being equated to 0 from here you can then look for a number that you can use that can divide the 16 the negative 12 and the negative 4 without giving you fractions so in this instance we can go for a 4 so you say I divide by a 4 throughout divide by a 4 divide by a 4 so how many 4s are in 16 you find that there is 4 4x squared how many 4s you find that there are three this one will give you a negative one you equate that to zero then from here you can either use your quadratic equation but if you can you can go on to find the factors so from here let's go for factors let's go for factors of which that will be two x and two x and then i'll have a one and a one So, on our factors, on our factors, we actually made a mistake on finding our factors. Okay, let's just erase to avoid confusion. When you focus on your 4x squared, focus firstly on your 4x squared, secondly, focus on your constant, then thirdly, you focus on your middle term so to factorize manual without using a quadratic formula you'll have to go for your 4x and x which that will give you what a 4x squared then after you'll have to focus on your constant which is what you multiply your 1 and the 1 so the sign here instead of the constant it's a minus meaning that my size we go on to look at the product rule negative times a negative you get a positive as a positive times a positive you still get a positive but when you multiply a negative times a positive you'll get a negative therefore the sign up of my constant is a negative meaning that my signs will be different then after for you to know how to place your sign you see the bigger brackets take sign of the middle term. So the bigger one, this one will give you a 1 over 4. So it's less, this one will give you a 1. So the bigger bracket is this one, will take sign of the middle term, of which my middle term has a negative. So I'll have to put my negative this side, then the other side will have to be a positive. Then from here, we are done placing your factors. You can then multiply out, which is you take your 4x, plus a 1 equated to a 0 then you take your 4x take your 1 to the other side it's a minus 1 you divide by 4 both sides which is 4x divided by 4 is equals to what you do on the left you must do on the right 4 will cancel 4 then I remain with my x being a negative 1 over 4 or I go on to focus on the second bracket, which is x minus 1 is equals to a 0. Then x, take the 1 to the other side, is equals to a 1. Then I found my two x values. Then I'll have to go for my y. Since we are dealing with, with simultaneous, where the instruction is solve for x and y, so we are done solving for the x values. We now need to find the, the y values. 
So, to find the y values, we'll just use the space we have on our right. To find the y values, let me just draw a dividing line. The rule will be to substitute, sub, substitute the x values, x values into equation one, the equation you created. So you have to substitute this x value into equation one, also this x value into equation one, so as to find the y value. So now let's take down our equation one, which was a y is equals to two minus four x. So substitute the x value into one. The first x value we are substituting, it's x is equals to a negative 1 over 4. So, y is equals to 2 minus 4. My x value is a negative 1 over 4. So, from here, it's a 2. Then, a minus 4 times a negative 1, you still get a 4, positive 4, all over 1 times 4, all over 4. So this is y is equals to a 2 plus a 1. Then your y is actually a 3. Therefore, you conclude when x was a negative 1 over 4, my y was a 3. Then now, we still go on to substitute the second x value into the equation. Our second x value is x is equals to a 1. This x value, the one we found. So we have to substitute that into equation 1. So y is equals to 2 minus 4. Where there is x, I now have to put a 1. So y is equals to a 2 minus 4 then y is equals to a negative 2. Then I conclude, therefore, when x was 1, my y was a negative 2. So I have found, I have solved simultaneously, and I found my x value and my y value. Also, this side as well, I found my x value and my y value. Then this sum is complete. We are done. We'll then go on for our second sum, still on Smartiness equation. We are still continuing. We solve for x dealing with Smartiness equations. So, for our second Smartiness equation that is given, we have a 4y minus x is equal to a 4 and xy is equals to an 8. So the instruction is still the same. Solve for x and y simultaneously. So, same, same procedure, the one we use on our first sum, where you want to choose to either make x or y subject of the formula without creating fractions. So, if you check on our second equation, which is x, y is equals to an 8, there's no way you can avoid creating fractions on this sum. But this side, we do have a chance of making x subject of the formula without creating fractions. So, let's just take it down. The first equation, which is 4y minus x is equals to a 4. Then... We take our we take our x to the other side, meaning that we go for a four y is equals to a four. Take the x to the other side; it's gonna be a plus x. So now my x is positive. I have to take the four to the other side, of which I remain with my x. Then it's 4y, take it 
to the 4 to the other side to be a minus 4. So what we did here, we just actually swapped. We take x to the other side and 4 to the other side. So now, my first equation, you can just go on to say it's x is equals to a 4y minus a 4. Then you name, name that to be your first equation. Then let me just draw a dividing line. I'm going to focus on my the other given equation, which is x, y is equals to an 8. Then on this one, you can then, you can leave it the way it is, or you can choose to take a to the other side and equate this to 0. Meaning that I go for an x, y, take the a to the other side, it's going to be a negative 8, equate it to, to 0. Then, this will be our second equation. Once you're done with equation 1 and equation 2, you can then go on to sub 1 into 2 into 2. Then, my two second equation is actually x, xy minus 8 is equals to a 0. When you look at your first equation, x is equals to 4y minus 4. So, where I see x on my second equation, I'll have to put a 4y minus 4. So, here's my x, which is, this is xy. Therefore, I go on to say y, then x, I'll put a 4y minus 4. Then, don't leave out this minus 8, equate it to 0. Then now multiply out, which is y times 4y, will get a 4y squared. y times a negative 4 will get a minus 4y minus 8. Equate that to 0. Then from here, you can then divide by 4 throughout. Meaning that you go for your 4y squared minus 4y minus 8 is equals to a 0. You divide by a 4 throughout. You remain with, 4 will cancel 4, you remain with y squared divided by a 4. This will give you a minus 1y. Divide this, you'll get a minus 2. You equate that to, to a 0. And then, you go on to factorize, find your y, find your y values, which that will be a y and a y. Then you go to get your factors for 2. So which your factors for 2 is only 2 times 1 being equals to a 2. So I have to place my factors, which is 2 and 1. Then from here, you check your sign of a constant. My sign of a constant is a negative. I go to my product rule, negative times negative. I get a positive as much as when I multiply a positive times a positive. I still get a positive. But when I multiply a negative and a positive, I get a negative. So my constant in this instance is a negative, meaning that my sides are to be different in different in bracket. Then how to know when it comes to placing your signs, you'll have to use the rule that says on the factors that I've used, the bigger number must take sign of the middle term. The factors I used is 2 and 1. The bigger number must take sign of the middle term. My middle term is a negative. So my bigger number is 2, will take a negative. This one will obviously then take a positive. Then from here, I equate my brackets to 0 and solve, which is y minus 2 equals 0, which is y is equal to take the 2 to the other side, it's a 2, y is a 2. Then you go on to solve the next bracket, which is y plus 1 is equal to a 0, y is equal to take the 1 to the other side, it's 
a negative one. So I found my y values, but the instruction is still the same. Solve for x and y simultaneously. So now we solve for y, we need our, our x values. So to find our x values, we'll have to do the same thing that we did on the first sum, where we had to substitute back into the equation. So we'll then take our first equation, the one we created, which is x is equals to 4, y minus 4, and then we'll then substitute both this y value into equation 1, then find the x value, also take the second y value to equation 1, find the x value. So, for now, let's go for this y value, which is y is equals to a 2, then we must substitute y on the first equation. So, x is equals to 4, my y is a 2, minus 4, then my x is 4 times 2, which, which gives you an 8, minus 4. So my x is actually a 4. Then you conclude, when x was 4, y was 2. Let me just draw a dividing line. Now I'm going to go for substituting my second y value to the equation, which is y is equals to a negative 1. Then you go on to say, write the equation, which is x, this equation. I'm going to substitute the y value into this equation. x is equals to 4y minus 4, where there is y left to put a negative 1. So x is equals to 4. My y is a negative 1 minus a 4. So from here... A 4 times a negative 1, I get a minus 4 with a minus 4. Therefore, my x will be a negative 8. Then you conclude, when x was a negative 8, my y was a negative 1. So, we are done. You have found your x and y, your x and y, for this given equation where you were required to solve for x and y simultaneously then we'll have to go on to our next sum yeah we are on our third sum still on simultaneous equation so we are given that y plus 2 is equal to an x and y is equals to x squared minus x minus 10 so still we must either make x or y substitute the formula, but in this instance, this sum, we are given that y plus 2 is equal to x, of which you can just take it as it is and be like x is equal to y plus 2. This is the same thing. Then I just go on to say this is my first equation. Then, this side, let me just draw a dividing line. I'm given a y is equal to x squared minus x minus 10. So, let's take y to the other side. We'll go on to have an x squared minus x minus 10 minus a y equals to a 0. Then, we name that to be our second equation. Then from here, we proceed to sub, substitute equation 1 into 2. Then equation 2 is x squared minus x minus 10 minus y equals to a zero. Then I must substitute one into equation two. So x is equals to y plus two. Where I see x, I have to put a y plus two. Here's my x. 
where is x i must put a y plus 2 squared minus x again which will that will give me what still a y plus 2 then close the bracket minus 10 minus y equals to a zero so we did this so that you can have what only one unknown on our equation so from here bonus we have brackets here that we need to deal with this means the same bracket twice which is y plus a two y plus a two this side i have to multiply out with this negative one which is negative one times y will get a negative y negative one times a two will get a negative two minus ten minus y is equals to a zero then you multiply out the y plus two y plus two this bracket you do your foil method ways y times y you'll get the y squared you go for y times 2 you'll get a 2y 2 times y you still get a 2y then 2 times 2 you'll get a, a 4 so these ones let's just write them the way they were let's not make any changes for now to avoid confusion then from here you'll have to go on to deal with the like terms like terms y squared there's no other y squared here so y y squared remains then we have 2y 2y minus y minus y so of which we get a 2y plus a 2y will have a 4y minus y minus y will have a minus 2y then we go for the numbers which is minus 2 minus 10 and the plus 4 so we'll then have a 10 minus 2 so let's just go for a 4 then this will be a negative 12 then being equals to a zero we still go on to deal with these like terms which is y squared then it's a 4y minus 2y you get a plus 2y then it's a negative 12 plus a 4 you get a negative 8 equated to a zero then from here you have to solve for y open two brackets page it to zero then this is your y and y then you have to go for focus on your constant where you have to find the factors of eight which are eight times y you get an eight also a four times two you get an eight so then you go back to your sum your sum is Two numbers that when you multiply they give you an 8 when you subtract they'll have to give you a 2 so 8 times 1 is indeed an 8 but 8 minus 1 is a 7 therefore these factors they do not qualify looking at the second one where 4 times 2 is indeed an 8 4 minus 2 you'll get a 2 of which that's what you need I multiply those numbers they give me an 8 I subtract they give me a 2 so the factors will be 4 and 2 then you go on to find the signs then you check your sign of the constant which is a negative you use the product rule which is a negative times a positive you get a negative it means that on your brackets you have different signs in order for you to get a negative so we forever treat the sign of the constant as though it's a sign that you got from multiplying two signs so in this instance I have to place my positive and negative but you don't just put them you have to follow the rule that says on your factors the bigger number must take some of the middle term so on my factors which was four and two the bigger number is four 
must take the sign of the middle term. My middle term in this instance has got a plus. So I'll use a positive here. Then this bracket obviously now will have to be a negative. So then these are my signs. Then also I'll then have to now equate my two brackets to zero, which is y plus a four is equals to a zero. Or a y minus a two is equals to a zero. Then you go on to say your y is equals to take your four to the other side you get a negative four you found the y value then you're going to solve this side as well y is equals to take your two to the other side this side will have to change you get a two so y is equals to a two then now the instructions stay the same you have to solve for x and y simultaneously you are not only solving for y so now you are able to find the y values now you have to find the x values following the same procedure we followed on the previous two sums. Now, we'll have to substitute back to our first equation, the y values. Let's just note it down. The first equation, which the instruction now is sub, which is substitute the y values, the y values into equation one my first equation remember it was x is equals to y plus two so then the y value i must substitute first is this one which is my y is equals to i'm just noting it down a negative four so where there is y left to put a minus four so x is equals to a y which is a minus four plus a two so my x will be a negative 2. I conclude. Therefore, when x was minus a, ne a negative 2, my y was a negative 4. Then I'm done. I then have to substitute also this y value, which is y is equals to a 2. So I still take the same equation, x is equals to y plus a 2, where my y was a 2. So now from here, I'll then substitute on my equation where there is y, I'll have to put a 2. So x is equals to, here's my y, is a 2 now, plus a 2. So x will be a 4. Then I conclude, when x was 4, y was 2. So you have solved for x and y simultaneously. You found your x value with its y value, also the x value with its y value. Then this sum is done.